happy Monday, happy Monday. Checking in first round of the week. Just want to stop and say thank you to everybody watching my last video. I know coming back off a of hiatus, I was a little nervous of uh, what I put out there, but thank you for tuning in. We're back on track, so this is week number two. Getting some footage for the next video. But uh, over here on the ridge, get about a four mile run in. I think about five, 600 feet of climbing. So pretty solid so far, but you can see I got my chest strap on. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some downhill footage of me running uh, with the GoPro shot to me. Hopefully it looks cool, put some music over it and all that. And I'll check in with you next time. Happy Saturday, what is going on? Checking in, uh, today is my long run, so getting about 10 miles or so. I'll put the stats on the screen, but I had to just stop and uh, admire the view. Got a beautiful view of the city here and Mount Diablo in the distance, but uh, today is actually kind of a big day. So, well, for multiple reasons. Today is actually gonna be a really good day, it has been so far, but um, this run is my longest run since the 50 mile race, since the 50K in July since early july was my last training run that was over like seven miles so kind of pushing it you know pushing it into gear a little bit of you know not really quite ready for a 10 mile run but i'm kind of still trying to power through so feeling pretty good out here exploring some new trails over on the ridge which i always love this is some great running weather and all that but what's coming up next this afternoon we are picking up the bike let's go come on now everybody the cyclist has arrived. He's here. Ryan, the cyclist, training for life, cycling for life. But uh, <laughs> it should be interesting. I'll probably wait till next video and we'll kind of talk a little more about the bike. I'll get some clips of me riding the bike for the first time and who knows how long, but uh, super excited to be doing that. But as you can see in the title of this video, uh, we're gonna be talking a little bit about weight training. As I really start to nail down this endurance running, this trail running, and really try to you know train with a purpose, a little bit of intent, rather than what I've done in the past and just kind of run, uh, weight training is gonna be a huge part of that. So I have a couple things that I wanna touch on, which I will touch on in the next clip after this run, but just wanna check in, feeling good out here, getting some miles in, longest distance in, since July. I don't even wanna know how many months that is. Let's go. So as you can tell by the title of this video, uh, we're gonna be talking a little bit about weight training and how I'm going to be incorporating that and kind of emphasizing that as I build up my endurance, my aerobic, my you know running endurance as I get into these ultra marathons again. Uh, all, you know, weight training is something that I personally really enjoyed for a, a big part of my life. Uh, all I did was weight training. <laughs> I hated running, but now as I started running, I kind of found myself not weight training. So now as we really kind of, like I said in the last clip, train with a little bit of intent, a little bit of purpose, come up with a plan and really kind of set that forward. Uh, weight training is definitely gonna be a huge thing that is gonna be incorporated along with my ultra running and my trail running and my weekly workout plan. So there's a couple of things that I do want to focus on uh, regarding the weight training. So this is just kind of over the next you know four to six weeks it, in reality, I'm not, you know, a very fit. I'm not in very fit shape right now. Uh, I'm kind of starting from a little bit of a square one. Yes, I do have the experience of weight training, ultra running, things like that. But where I'm at right now uh, isn't where I was, you know, six months ago, a year ago, two years ago. So 
I'm really starting from my base one, really want to build it up properly. So I'm looking at my notes here. So one of the things that I'm going to be focusing on uh, over the next four to six weeks is you're going to be going to the gym to do strength training at least one to two times a week. So by doing that, kind of not overpowering my workout week, but definitely still getting in some solid workouts, which is always going to be good. Now, another thing um, that's really, really important is the leg training. So I've typically shied away from leg workouts thinking that they'll over exhaust me for my running workouts and things like that. But I really need to kind of focus in on building that leg strength and really kind of getting that, um, you know, those muscles kind of woken up and ready for the strain that ultra running puts on them so no better way to strain your muscles than by lifting so for the next four to six weeks i'm going to be focusing more on the high volume reps in regards to my leg training same with the upper body really just kind of you know priming everything making sure that my muscles are uh, getting used to working out again because like i said it has been a while and then after this you know this little block that i'm on right now for weight training i will be pivoting into doing a little bit more of the compound movements you know trying to get back into a little bit of barbell squatting uh you know nothing too overly heavy but again just trying to overload the legs um in combination with the running so that when it comes to a race you know i do want to do a, another ultra 50 mile race you know sometime in the middle of the year I have that strength that I can kind of tap back into. Like I mentioned in my video, uh, recap of the 50 mile race was that I had ran into a lot of issues uh, in regards to cramping. So some of that I think has to do with muscular endurance, which is going to be built by doing high volume, high rep leg exercises in combination with upper body training. So as much as that's something I've uh, shied away from in my short three year running career, now we're going to be really focusing and kind of having that be a focal point of my training for the year to come. So really looking forward to that, but I'll check in tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be going over the whoop kind of, uh, you know, some of the data that I've gotten in regards to my recovery and my sleep, things like that. Kind of just, you know, taking a little bit of an analytical approach into the next week. And then, like I said, we will be getting some bike footage next week so stay tuned cycling for life we'll be checking in but uh, i'll talk to you tomorrow when we have the full week's data of whoop for my recovery and my strain and we'll kind of just break that down so i'll talk to you then what is going on it is sunday afternoon uh adrian is in the store i don't even have my gopro but we're at trader jealous the reason i'm in the car is because the bad boy is in town cycling for life here we are let's go I'm excited, but uh, we'll be breaking that down and going over that in the next video. But what I want to cover today was the WHOOP recovery and the WHOOP strain scores throughout the week, which I will go ahead and put a snippet right here on your screen. So uh, you can see my both my strain and my recovery scores vary throughout the week, which is normal. Um, you know, I definitely am not at a high fitness level right now. So my body is taking on a lot more strain to do some of the, you know, four five mile runs and as you can see yesterday uh, that 10 mile run put a lot of strain on my body which then lowered my recovery score last night so the recovery i really like because it does take four factors into play uh, which i will go ahead and list on the screen so it's not necessarily only about how many hours of sleep you get but the quality of sleep you get which is something that can really be you know focused on through nutrition uh, stretching mobility which one thing i did do this past week i didn't record it i had a chiropractic appointment uh, I'm extremely stiff, uh, as everybody that knows me, even my doctor, the chiropractor was like, I've never seen anybody this stiff. I don't know if she was just trying to sell me, but uh, everything that she did hurt really bad. So <laughs> I got a long way to go with that. But as you can see, the recovery is definitely something that I need to focus on improving. But like I said, some of those things are going to be stretching, uh, quality of sleep, going to bed in the same, you know, the, roughly the same window and things like that. And then the strain, uh, 21 is a max strain on WHOOP. So if you gave it your full effort for 24 hours, WHOOP would technically give you a 21 max. Uh, now the way it kind of scales is a little confusing as it gets into the higher teens. But as you can see, my strain yesterday uh, was extremely high, which just indicates that my body wasn't really ready for a 10 mile run, which I knew and I had mentioned that yesterday, but I really just kind of wanted to see where things were at. Kind of push it a little bit but 
that's going to be something that I want to focus on in, at the end of each of these videos is my recovery score and my strain score throughout the week and kind of just break that down. But like I said, heading into next week, some of the things that I'm going to be focusing on is upping that recovery score through stretching, uh, nutrition, hydration, things like that, that are really going to make the difference uh, compared to all the other things that I've been doing. Now my strain, hopefully next time I go for a 10 mile trail run, uh, it will not be almost close to maxed out. So that just is going to show my, you know, my level of fitness is increasing next time I do that route. If my strain score is lower, that just means that, you know, it took less off my body to do that, which is what we're really striving for. So like I keep saying, we're training with intent, training with purpose, uh, not just kind of blindsiding things like that, really kind of diving into the analytical data that, you know, I'm performing on, you know, my Strava runs, my whoop recoveries, my whoop strain, things like that. So looking forward to it, you know, we're going to keep cranking these bad boys out and we're going to keep increasing this fitness level week by week. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for next week because, uh, hint, hint, we're going to be cycling. So looking forward to it. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next time.